Welcome, everybody, to our weekly ecosystem office hours call. I am your host, Jinx, and we are joined, as always, by the best and brightest in the pocket ecosystem. Small crowd today because uh, we've got a uh, we had a time change recently, and we've got Dev Connect going on this week, and uh, a bunch of other things happening that grab people's attention. So, uh, no presentations, no agenda. Uh, I guess we'll uh, we'll go around and do the normal thing. Fred, you guys got any uh, updates from uh, the Grove side of the house? Uh, no, nothing really big to report. We had a little snafu last week with some code change that introduced a lot of 502s for end users, but we were able to resolve that. Um, just uh, we're going to be changing our endpoint URL pathing in Q1 of next year. The new URL paths should be launching in the next couple of weeks, uh, probably right after Thanksgiving. Um, and so we'll be getting customers cut over uh, over the course of you know, from whenever we have the actual code in place until we have a cutoff date, which we'll make an announcement about. But um, that might cause some hiccups and relays just as people change over their endpoints. Are you able to 301 those from the old ones to the new ones? We can. Um, the biggest thing is that we want to completely decouple the Grove portal from the POC.network domain. So right. eventually we will have a hard cutover. Um, our soft cutover strategy will be that the POC.network domain um, URLs will no longer be uh, available in the Grove portal, but they will continue to function until our cutoff date, which is tentatively February 1st. Gotcha. Okay. Beautiful. And uh, great, uh, great work by the whole team over the last uh, series of months to get the, uh, the DIN stuff underway. It was really gratifying to to see Pocket and Grove up on the uh, the chart during the live stream this morning. Oh, yeah, definitely. More good news coming. Hell, yeah. Zach, you guys got the uh, PNF. Got anything you want to put out? Uh, yeah, I mean, nothing big right now. We had our offsite last week. Um, out of that, we have uh, a good start for a roadmap and a whole bunch of announcements coming out of um, basically like our, our six month goals and, and the things that we think are super important, um, you know, with the people on this call, I also want to call out that we, we discussed a bit the transparency and open sourceness of the things that we're doing and uh, really making a commitment to making sure that we have more information available for everybody. Um, I think sometimes uh, it's construed as people being malicious. And I think it's, you know, in most cases, a matter of us just making a mistake or not having um, enough bandwidth to to do things the right way. So now that we've got a much bigger team, we're really committed to making sure that we do have a lot more transparency and fairness in the way that we're we're moving forward. Um, and so expect the we were going to host a community call next week and review a lot of that, but um, it would land on Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna figure out if we do it a couple days before or the week after. But yeah, so. We had a really good offsite. There's a whole bunch going on at Dev Connect. I think people have seen announcements coming out of that already. Um, yeah, I think like we're just feeling really excited, especially with um, the economic stuff that's it's finally coming coming to light here. And yeah, hopefully everybody's on board uh, for another six months of uh, making this project great. Beautiful. Anybody have any questions about either of those things? Sounds like a no to me. All right, cool. Well, appreciate y'all's updates. And uh, with that, we'll uh, turn it to open floors. Anybody got anything that uh, you want to bring up to discuss this week? I actually have one more. Um, just a thing to seed. We are getting to the point where we're going to have to do a code freeze for um, any updates to Morse. And I just want to throw that out to people. If anybody's thinking about proposals and things that they want to include, um, yeah, we want to get those in sooner than later. I think we're going to put up a proposal in the next week or so um, suggesting a, a close for any new changes to Morse as the test net for Shannon's going to go live early next year. So planting that seed. Uh, I thought test net uh, for Shannon was going live end of this year. Uh, yes, I'm saying early next year, end of this year, as like we still need to freeze the code. We don't have an exact date for that yet. Got it. Okay. 
wasn't sure if there'd been an update, but all of the news that I'd heard so far uh, regarding progress was very positive. I agree with you there. I think it is still planned for end of this year. Um, I just want to set the expectation that if it falls into like January, it's a possibility as well. Hey, you know what? Uh, under promising and over delivering would be a nice, a nice cadence to set for Shannon. Agreed. Cool. Any questions on that? All right. Well, then, back to open floor. Any other topics? And also, if you uh, if you're not able to come off the mic, you are welcome to. Chat in the sidebar window. I will uh, read it out for you as the voice of your comment. Well, I have some questions that you know, I think we have some node runners here. Um, does anybody have any thoughts on, and I don't want to talk about price too much, but uh, things have been tight recently, and I'm wondering if there's like a general sentiment on um, where people are at with the price and uh, sustainability, I guess is what I'm getting at. Is there is there a number that we're trying to hit that's going to make things a little bit easier for everybody? I, I guess just general sentiment, if anybody wants to talk about how they're feeling now that node running isn't as, I don't know, unsustainable as it was. I mean, I can kick that off a little bit. I know that breaking the 10 cent barrier is a, uh, a big psychological thing. Uh, so from a, an enthusiasm and, and morale perspective, that would be significant. Uh, I've seen a lot of numbers batted around about where the break even point is. And I think that for a lot of node runners, we're sort of right on the edge of that right now. Five to six cents uh, is is potentially break even for for well optimized systems. Um, seven cents clearly uh, um, in break even, and maybe even in a little profit for people who are highly highly optimized. Um, but that's that's roughly where I've seen. But from a from a psychological and morale perspective, I think eleven cents is the 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 next target that uh, we should hope to see. Others, I know we got uh, Ben Van, we got Ian, we got Shane, uh, Breezy, y'all run nodes too, don't you? Now, Shane says the reason node running has been unsustainable is because providers charge 30% or less. If providers up their prices, it can counter price, but it's a bit of a race to the bottom. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that in general. Ian's typing as well. I disagree, but I'll leave it at that. Okay. Well. You asked some questions about the progress related to the max chains parameter and if we're going to have a, a code freeze for Morse uh, pretty soon, um, is that going to wait for Shannon then um, or what can we expect as node runners? Was that directed at Shane or at me? Really, just anybody who's knowledgeable about the subject. It can be a lot to stay on top of some of these proposals, uh, partly because they can strike an emotional chord, um, but also just because you know they're nuanced subjects, and when you're you know trying to stay busy, some of those things can be distractions. 
Um, so if somebody could just kind of summarize uh, the back and forth uh, and where we're at now uh, and what to expect, uh, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, I this is this is the first time I ever heard about a Morse, you know, freeze or something. Um, I believe when Zach mentioned that he uh, he he said that, you know, after this next round of proposals, because the Dow's already voted on certain proposals. Um, so, uh, yeah, it. I mean the the update of it is the. Uh, uh, the DAO has passed to, you know, fix the parameter in Morse so that it can actually be adjusted. Um, there's been some discussion in the forum on uh, how exactly that, you know, should go about. But, uh, um, but yeah, there's, there's, there's a number of options. And so uh, just devs are figuring out uh, and thinking through what, which of the options might be the best. Um, and so after, you know, after that's fixed, then that is where folks could, uh, you know, submit a proposal to change max chains to a different value. Um, and so uh, I'd highly suggest, was it, was it like two weeks ago? Um, I think it was two weeks ago where, or was it last week where we, where you had a discussion about max chains? Or I think it was last week. We had a discussion about max chains pretty in depth. Um, and, uh, and the general sentiment was that, you know, there could be a lot of value in reducing it. Uh, and the main value being that it would allow specialty folks from, uh, other chains. So like, say someone is, uh, competent in Solana, um, or is already running Solana nodes, they could then join the pocket community without having to also run 14 other chains um to uh and uh and still generate you know network average from uh whatever chain they're specialized in so uh it would allow the specialists of all these different chains to be able to participate in pocket without the overhead of needing to um run a whole lot of other infrastructure just to get network average so that uh, and Ben Van specifically uh, kind of shared it in an elegant way that uh, got a lot of people uh, interested and excited in it. But I would say if you kind of want that in-depth discussion about it and the pros, uh, pros and cons, I would suggest look at uh, listen to last week's call because it went pretty in-depth. I mean ETA. I don't. I don't know what the ETA on the next, uh, you know, uh, Morse releases. So, um, I believe there's a number of commits that are still being worked on, uh, including, uh, including other proposals. So, I don't know if there's any ETA because uh, what has to happen first is Morse has to be updated. Uh, it has to be tested. And then updated, I mean, and then after that, then a proposal to set a certain parameter, uh, you know, can be applied. So uh, the proposal to apply a new parameter doesn't have to wait until it's already released to do it. But we're just not sure when the Morse, the next Morse release is going to be in general. So it's really impossible to give any kind of date. And it sounds like we're coming up on that being the last Morse release. Most likely, but let me let me just say, like, I, I wanted to plant the seed. I will get some exact info from Mateo and Jack. Um, and again, we're going to create a proposal so that way it's not a surprise and you all have a chance to vote on it. And um, I think it'll be a little bit of a custom, like, are there outstanding proposals that need to get put into it? How many can wait? Because ideally, we're trying to push all of our good builders into um, into the Shannon upgrade. So. Um, you know how it is. We're trying to balance. We're trying to balance the value of doing upgrades to V0 versus um, getting people working on integrating Shannon. So there won't be surprises, Ian. We'll make sure that you know before we um, put that up there. And I'll personally make sure we reach out with the proposal so you can stay up to speed. Beautiful. 
Thanks, Zach. Appreciate it. Any other thoughts or questions on that topic? I see Ian still typing. Um, well, I'm just going to leave it at I don't without getting into the history or the politics around the match chain parameter. Um, I just think that uh, since we're so close to uh, Shannon Testnet and not too long after that Shannon Mainnet, I feel like it's crazy to 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 even change this in Morse. Um, but I'm just going to leave it at that. I mean, that's that may be a strong argument to hold off for now. Cool. Other thoughts, topics, questions? Well, in that case, there's a food truck a couple of blocks down for me that has a pretty badass case of Berea. So uh, I'm going to call this a, a lunch uh, ending today and uh, head that way. But uh, as always, appreciate y'all showing up and uh, we'll be back here. Same channel, same time next week. We'll talk soon, y'all. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Thanks.